Elon Musk announces that he is going to possibly step down from Twitter because, and uh, he sets up a Twitter poll. I don't know where the fuck I had it all started. Yeah. Uh, that he's going to possibly step down as CEO of Twitter. Uh, and he puts it up to a poll on his Twitter. Okay. Uh, fuck. That's not it. <laughs> uh, so here it is. Yeah. I, should I step down instead of Twitter? I'll abide by the results of this poll. I voted yes personally because Elon e Elon sucks. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Elon is fucking terrible because he he preaches all day about wanting free speech, and you know, that's something I'm all about. Okay, I love free speech. I would totally be in favor of Elon if he actually like made steps towards Twitter being a more free speech inclusive platform, right? But that's not what he be doing. Okay, that's not what he be doing at all. Okay, all he's done in like the months he's run Twitter is fucking run it into the ground by introducing like complete dog shit verification systems and all that other like 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 all that other shit right and it it's not helpful at all it's awful in fact so i obviously voted yes that he should step down because he just sucks and it doesn't do anything he says right so the second this starts happening the quartering like starts crying basically the quartering does not want elon musk to step down as the ceo of twitter okay so he starts like begging <laughs> he basically starts begging uh elon must to not do it elon if you like look here he tries to get the ceo job right like this is like the most loser shit possible elon if you want i can keep it alive not only that grow up far beyond what it is now i have a complex understanding of all tech what twitter needs what creators need i also have a dozen years running in a marketing agency that represented fortune 500 companies please elon let me run it and obviously, like, so that's just like loser shit. Like, imagine if I were like, <laughs> he's unironically like begging for the Twitter CEO position. Like, no, dude, nobody's gonna fucking give you that shit. You're actually like stupid. So then, this obviously, people are shitting on him for this because it's actually like, it's just loser shit, right? Paul. And then he, like, you know, the quarter tries to reply. He's like, Paul, I know you write articles about games on a dying website, but have you heard the saying you've missed 100% of the shots you don't take, right? Quarter, you're not going to be Twitter CEO. I hate to tell you that. Like <laughs> that phrase does not apply here. That's like, that's like if I jumped off a building and said, well, I did it. Cause like I wanted to fly and you miss hundred percent of the shots you don't take. Right? Like, no, you dumb fuck. You're not good. Like the chances of you flying after jumping off a building and the chance of you becoming CEO are the same. The basement pisser is really trying to beg Elon for CEO. How pathetic. Literally, Julian. It's like, like yeah, you piss in your basement. You think someone Elon's going to let someone like you be CEO? And then, you know, he's just, he, he keeps like begging Elon, basically. Look, I don't want Elon to step down until he has reshaped the company culture and found a suitable placement. Like, he's literally like begging Elon to stay. Vote no. Vote no. Like, he, so he just like, please vote no. He's telling all his followers to vote no. Don't give up. He acts like this is like some sort of big movement. Like, <laughs> like this is like super fucking important that Elon stays CEO. It's not important. Okay. In fact, it like more change will probably happen if he, if he gets replaced, right? Because with someone who's actually competent and knows how to run it, like, cause the whole verification shit has been a disaster. Everything he's tried to implement has been a disaster. It's all just been awful. Okay. It's all just been awful. So and then he tweets, heading to bed, getting up early tomorrow. There may be videos on to discuss the many Christmas gifts to wrap. Maybe a Christmas stream to consider too. It, he did not go to bed. Spoiler alert. He continued. He is dick riding, Julie. He continued to tweet live for like the next like two hours, bro. He was going absolutely schizo. Obviously, I was also going schizo, replying to every single tweet, farming Twitter likes as someone like me does. You know, that's that's the best strat for Twitter followers, right? Just farm like people who are having actual breakdowns. Uh, so he's talking about ice with in. Culture war is coming down to the next twelve hours. I want Elon Musk to appoint a replacement eventually at Twitter, but not until the next year. I'm going to sacrifice everything tomorrow and try and let people know on this poll. So and then he calls out a bunch of his friends. If our friendship matters, create tomorrow to vote no on Elon stepping down. It's like he's literally like. He's willing to burn bridges with actual fucking friends in order to have Elon Musk stay CEO of Twitter. What what fucking loser shit is this, bro? Like, what, what is wrong with you? Please, Elon Musk. This is so important. Extend your pull. You're not giving us a chance to create 
the appeal to folks. This poll ends at 4 a.m. in the United States. You must reinstate the poll, man. Seriously. Like, he's so dramatic. <laughs> he makes multiple tweets. Seriously, please. If you're a qual consecrator who cares about the culture war, this isn't fucking 2016. Nobody gives a fuck about the culture war. Sup, <laughs> sup, Mr. Gamer. Uh, nobody cares. Nobody actually cares. You're like actually spurging for no reason. And then, th okay, this is the funniest tweet. Utterly hilarious how flushed you are over all this. This is your personal 9 11. And like, it is. He's like super fucking upset because t Elon Musk might not be the CEO of Twitter. And this is how he responds. Yes, Twitter is the public square. No, it's not. It's, it'd be nice if it was, but it's not. Elon like Elon could make it a public square, and that'd be really cool and based. You know, I'd love it if we actually had free speech on Twitter. But we don't, because Elon's like a dumb fuck who just, yeah. Uh, losing freedom of speech in that square is more important than 9-11? What? I don't even know how to come. Does that make you feel uncomfortable? It makes me feel like shit to say it's also true. So he literally said... Elon Musk saying Twitter CEO was more important than 9-11. <laughs> you can't make that up. He unironically thinks that Twitter, that Elon, that Elon Musk saying CEO is more important than 9-11. <laughs> like, there is no shot, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, Jeremy is down horrendously. Like, holy shit. And then, okay, Mr. Beast, like, shits on Elon Musk, finally, uh, based uh, Jimmy, please DM me. I can explain. He already reversed the course. It is the most important poll in history. We need to keep Elon a CEO. It is not the most important poll in history, you dumb fuck. What are you, like, what are you talking about? Any presidential election ever has been more important than Elon Musk staying CEO. Like, I, I can't even excuse this level of dumb fuckery that you're engaging in right now. Please, please tell that Mr. Beast. He already walked this back. I I can't even. <laughs> oh my god, this is like the one normal like reply he made in this this two hour span. If you vote on this poll, you don't care about free speech. You don't care about the public square. This is everything. <laughs> I can't. I, I I can't even formulate a response. So, you know, Bo, Bo Black, my boy Bobby, okay, uh, my favorite, my favorite uh, documentary YouTuber, Josh, says, this is the same guy who made fun of Hillary voters begging people to vote against Trump in 2016, lol. I mean, fair comparison. That is very funny. He says, Josh, you have to be a content creator arguing against free speech. He's not arguing against free speech, dude. He's shitting on you because you're acting like a loser. He, Jeremy is so obviously drunk. It's it's actually crazy. Right? Like, <laughs> Jeremy has to be, like, at least six beers in to be typing, like, the, like, dumb shit like this, right? Holy shit, dude. Maybe dial in your own principles. I'll like your ch that'll likely help your channel grow. For real. Based Boblax. And then, you know, Nick's, Nicholas Diorio starts shitting on him. I can't believe there's a consecrate on the planet, not the size of a planet. That would ever betray principles freedom of speech just for internet dunks from a fellow loser, Black Pillars. But there you are, Nick. Okay, dude. <laughs> All right. He's literally saying in this tweet, Nick, you're, you also like freedom of speech. You have to agree with me. And that is just not the case, okay? Nick, like, uh, I like freedom of speech, and I think people should shit on you because you're acting like a loser. Like, I've already said it a million times. I shouldn't have to say it again. And then he he calls on libs of TikTok to help him vote no on the Elon Musk poll. Libs of TikTok, by the way, is kind of like I do not like libs of TikTok. That's for separate reasons, though, with like doxing reasons, which is cringe. Nick, <laughs> I know you think this is some sort of huge own, but coming for for a terminal on online obese man who will sell out their friends to suck Keemstar's dick on your criticism fall flat and then a transition from your neck to your chest. You're a dumb and a, kick a Keemstar dick rider. Sit down. You know what the funniest thing about this tweet is? Nick and Keemstar are not on good terms right now. Nick hates Keemstar. And I actually, no, Keemstar hates Nick right now because Keemstar tweeted, or no, holy shit, I'm, I'm getting like, <laughs> this is so retarded. 
because uh, Nick Diorio tweeted out a phantom N-word meme of Keemstar's girlfriend, Brantley, where it, like, it sounded like she said the N-word, but it didn't. And then, like, Keemstar got, like, really fucking, like, pissed about it and, like, cried, like, on the stream. <laughs> it's just crazy. Jeremy's like that one cheating ex you leave on red, and he just constantly drunk texts you about <laughs> they want to get back together. True, Julian. He is just fucking insane. This is so fucking funny. You and Bo Blacks think I don't see how <laughs> pathetic you are. Maybe Papa Keemstar might like one of your sad low IQ tweets. Maybe one day he might put put you over. Your content is uninspiring, replaceable, and forgettable. There's like you got to see the uh, irony in the quartering saying this, but let's let's load up the quarterings channel, okay? The quartering. It's just. <laughs> Can I get a count now? <laughs> look at the, look at these fucking videos, dude. Look at <laughs> look at this fucking face. In this thumbnail. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Holy shit. And then, like, look, entitled Brack tracking Elon Musk down. He just makes anti SUW content. This is the most replaceable content in the world. The only reason, like, this guy has a platform is because he uploads three times a day. Motherfucker, I upload three, like, shit ass short, like, shorts every day where I just, like, record the goddamn screen. Of, like, I record my monitor and talk about it. And, like, honestly, like, those, those are really replaceable. I'm very aware of that. Anyone can fucking do that. Anyone can upload a video about, like, SJWs crying about Captain Marvel. Like, look at this. Woke standoff leads to canceling Wonder Woman 3. Like, you don't think anyone could make this video and, like, just all you got to remember is women bad and, <laughs> and capitalism good, okay? That's all you need to remember to make a quartering video. And then he's, like, it's also funny because we know that Nick Bo Blacks, uh, Nick and Bo Blacks aren't on good teams terms with Keemstar. And then he's also, it's so ironic because he's doing the same thing to Elon. He's like begging Elon to like one of his tweets where he's like, like <laughs> literally, even obese Jay will outlive you if you keep drinking at this rate, LMFL. I 100% guarantee this isn't true. I mean, come on, dude. You're obviously drinking quite a bit. <laughs> Base, heading to bed now. I just had to drop that video. Oh, yeah, he drops a video. We're gonna give that a watch later where he like begs all of his followers to go like this. <laughs> to go like, uh, what do you call it? To go, <laughs> he begs all of his followers to go, you know, vote no or whatever. Boxing match winner can be the true Keemstar simp. Uh, you know, under this, I commented, uh, one liver shot and it's over. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, uh, this guy says, it's totally the most pathetic thing I've ever seen from you quartering, and that's saying a lot. I mean, true, he's pissed in a basement, so. Uh, OMG, a total Twitter rando who I've never seen in my replies thinks I should suddenly care about their opinion. I'm sure you follow a lot of lame-ass East Lib clowns who don't manage their own socials, but I do. I know the usernames of people that are in my threads normally. Okay. <laughs> One of them's me, okay? I'm the number one, uh, the quartering hater, okay? But, like, Jesus, this is so, like, the thing is, too, like, uh, this is literally what quartering is doing to, I, I commented under this, I'm like, this guy is to you what you are to Elon Musk, like, like, yeah, this guy is small compared to you, but you are, like, a fucking cockroach compared to Elon Musk, okay? Like, and you're, like, begging for his attention. Like, you're doing the same shit. Night, friend knows. Massively full day tomorrow. And then I got I got a bit of a zinger in on here, too. The full day he was talking about was deleting the million Trump tweets he made tonight. <laughs> oh, my God. And then, oh, my God. He keeps going. He said nighty friendos, but he keeps fucking tweeting about it. Gotta block a bunch of people tomorrow. Hurt your feelings, Mr. Free Speech. Look, I... I don't like that your mom made fun of the additional gray in my beard, but I would never block her for it. Now, she did say I had a double-digit IQ, son. I told her I would... Ex okay, good one. Like, <laughs> Jeremy is very replaceable. Thank you, Julian. But, uh, like, I don't... He's just tweeting nonsense at this point, where he, like, he's, like, he thinks this is an own. In his, like, drunken state, he's, like, yeah, I fucking owned him, dude. Night. This <laughs> his third goodnight tweet. <laughs> Lol. Okay. Well, 5,000 Americans dying to a terrorist attack. Oh, so funny. Don't think that's funny? How about another 3,000 Americans dying in a forever war against Afghanistan? Haha. Ha. Black pillars are the dumbest losers on the planet. What? What is he even saying? 
We have received word the clear. Okay, he's just he's doing a uh, a nine eleven meme because he, you the, you the quartering is the one who said that nine eleven was equal to t Elon Musk not being Twitter CEO. Like you're actually so fucking dumb, dude. L literally, thank you, Ham. Very based tweet from Ham here. Good night, third good night. <laughs> Holy shit. I gotta, guys, I, I, I gotta get the, uh, <laughs> Twitter likes even live on air, okay? Oh, shit. I'm literally retarded. I can't type. There you go. So, I mean, yeah, I guess that's all he's, he's tweeted. Hopefully he for real goes to bed. Oh, he, he did not go tonight. <laughs> he did not go to bed. He tweeted again. I've, saw, I've seen a ton of these crypto scam exposed videos. There is clearly a common trend. Idiots who thought this was their key to get rich. I'm starting to feel less angry at the scam architects and the galvanized. What? Sucker born over a minute trope. What are you, what are you saying? He's actually gone fucking insane. <laughs> I've seen a ton of these crypto scam exposed videos, and there's clearly a common trend. So, I mean, he's subtweeting CoffeeZilla here. I mean, CoffeeZilla is the biggest crypto, crypto scam exposed guy. Idiots just thought this was their key to get rich. I'm still starting to feel less angry at the scam architects who and galvanized in the sucker board over a minute. I don't know. He's just gone fucking crazy, okay? So, uh, you know, I thought that we would give this video right here a watch. I literally it might be funny. Out of I don't know. Bed. It's, I, literally, I don't know how you make 12 minutes out of this. Uh, it's, I'm going to speed it up because I bet most of it is fucking I'm dead tired. air, but let's let's go. I've been working to make this video. My most oh, important video. 14 hours a day. I've literally ever made on this channel. Whether it's I'm YouTube. Tired. Shit, I'm flying to I've been working 14 hours a day. Whether oh, it's YouTube. Whether it's helping Steven Crowder, which I think we're finally <laughs> He literally just has, like, daddies that he helps. He's like, guys, I work so hard. I help my daddy, Steven Crowder, and Elon Musk. Like, you gotta be the biggest fucking loser on the earth to have 1.4 million subscribers and still, like, religiously suck other people's cocks, right? Like, at least for smaller creators, like, I understand why you'd be sucking other people's cocks because, like, you're trying to grow yourself. But, like, the quartering actually just, like, the quartering actually just thinks these guys are his daddies. Like, I don't, I don't understand. There. I'm on fumes, like pure gas. <laughs> this was literally me studying for finals last week, guys. Like I was, this, this was me. Fumes. But this decision, this it's, minute. It's this, actually insane that this is 1.5. I'm 1.7. Moment is so important that I'm willing to. F it's so important. I thought my entire week. I'm uploading a video at 11 o'clock at night on a freaking Sunday night, which means my first notification tomorrow isn't going to even come out until I don't know when. I'm blowing my entire notification window for this video. Oh no! Not your entire notification video. Did you guys know Jeremy has a private fucking jet? I don't know why he's acting like this is such a big fucking deal that he might miss a little bit of an ad revenue the next day because he's like uploading this video. Like, Jeremy, that is not a big deal for you, okay? No, nobody cares. Like, you have a private jet. You're not going to be financially devastated because one of your notifications like didn't really work out. Like, because it didn't go out. Like, shut up, dude. Because it's important. It's the most important video I've ever done. It's the most important video he's ever done, guys. Oh shit! This this gotta be serious. What's what's going on, Cordering? What, Jeremy? Talk to me, man. What's what's happening? Yes, I know that Elon Musk has planned, and certainly, <laughs> almost certainly, has had a succession plan in mind forever. I don't believe that Elon Musk thinks that his decisions should be driven by a poll. I believe he thinks his polls on Twitter should reinforce his decisions. But tonight, Elon Musk has put out a poll. Should I step down and head up Twitter? Oh, God. 6.3% to 43.7%. Shit, guys. It's actually gotten a little bit closer than it was an hour ago. Oh, no. If you watch my videos, if you value free speech, I want you right now, while you're listening to me, on your phone or on your computer, to open a new window. Okay? Or if you are, I'm going to keep it short. I don't care about his name. It's double every. Listen, create a Twitter account immediately. Follow Elon Musk. You, guys, you gotta. He does have a private jet, mister. He's. It's, he personally isn't that rich, but I think his wife is like stacked for whatever fucking reason but anyway like guys you gotta go create a a, a twitter account right now <laughs> go vote in this poll it's so important follow him even because he's asking should guys. I on twitter 
I will abide by the results of this poll. And he's given us six hours right now. Five hours by the time you see it. Oh, God. There's 11.5 million votes in. Six hours. I'm calling my fellow content creator. Sydney Watson, Count Ankula, Bering, Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin. If they let this window pass without throwing their hat in the ring, without getting out of bed. Wait, are you calling fight, people out Sydney, now? If they Is... let this window pass, Count Ankula. There's 11.5 million votes in. I'm calling my fellow content creator. Sydney Watson, Count Ankula, Bering. Guys, help! Sargon of Akkad, Carl Benjamin. Why are you calling on Count Dankula? Nobody gives a fuck. Count Dank you know, Count Dankula literally got like fucked over by Elon Musk because he couldn't change his name from like small dick Count Dankula because Elon like locked the names for verified people, right? Like if why why would Count Dankula help Elon Musk? What are you talking about? If they let this window pass without throwing their hat in the ring, without getting out of bed to fight for freedom of speech, fight for it. it. Elon Musk, so cringe. He does not. Elon Musk does not fight for freedom of speech. He says he does, and then like doesn't do anything. Okay, that's, I'm forty years old. That's the I'm reality. I, like I was excited when Elon Musk initially bought Twitter. I was like, yes, let's go. Uh, you know, Twitter might be really fun now, but like, no, it's not. It's still the fucking same shithole it always has been. In fact, worse now because you can just like make verified account, <laughs> like verified accounts that are like troll accounts. Okay, Tipster's worst nightmare. All of my viewers know. That I have worked more than any man should work in a week this week between my own channel <laughs> and helping Crowder. But if you don't get out of bed as a fellow content creator, if you don't wake up, wake up, fight for this, I don't ever want to hear your freaking opinion ever again. <laughs> about freedom of speech. I'm not saying I want Elon Musk to run Twitter forever. I'm not even saying that I didn't think Elon was going to run forever. I know that he's going to replace himself. But there's five hours left in this poll. What I want you to do is Please. go to Elon Musk's Twitter account follow, uh, and vote no. Uh, should I step down? And secondarily, oh yes, oh yes. Then guys. I need you to remember this moment in history. I need you to remember this moment. Remember when all of my fellow free speech content creators were in bed, okay? <laughs> Why they weren't paying attention to the most important decision in free speech online in history. If they didn't get out of bed, if they didn't wake up to do a Twitter video, if they didn't do an Instagram video, if they didn't do a TikTok, I don't ever want to hear from them again about caring about freedom of speech. Yeah, guys. About caring about the silencing of conservatives. About caring. Libs of TikTok, where are you? Jack Posobiec, where are you? Where are you? I don't ever want to hear one <laughs> single word from any of you. Dude, it's because nobody likes fucking Elon Twitter. Elon Twitter is still the same shithole. Jeremy is the only person who likes Elon Twitter. I'm convinced. He's like, he's the only like dick writer who's still suckling on fucking Elon's tits. Okay. Like he's the only one left. This poll is live. He is hours. definitely drunk, Julian. Look, look at this. We're man. in the finals. Five hours. I'm, look, I'm 40. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. I'm fat. I'm overweight. <laughs> I'm 40. I'm sweaty. I'm fat. True. I'm not long for this planet. But freedom of speech, at least some semblance of it, some semblance of a fair and balanced playing field. I want Democrats to have their voices heard. I want liberals to have their voices heard. I want far leftists to have their voices heard. But if you are not waking up and creating a Twitter account, except for journalists, because fuck them, and I'm I'm glad Elon banned all of them. Like that's what Jeremy would have said. <laughs> you can't be like, I want everyone to have a voice, but you know, even though Elon do be kind of silencing the people I don't agree with, but yeah, I want everyone to have a voice. Like you're contradicting yourself here, idiot. Right now, dude. That's why I was trying to bait him into a conversation or something like that, because I th I think it'd be funny, right? Honestly, I mean, he's drunk enough to where I could probably win. Like <laughs> I don't know. To vote no to tell Elon Musk to not sit on a Twitter, you don't care as much as I do. I could probably That's win normally too. The court, I don't think I could win in a debate against a lot of people. The quarter is just a, a special type of like really fucking dumb. I don't I don't think that's a controversial opinion. I'm speaking mostly to content creators. I think my viewers probably already voted no. If you didn't, please do. It takes like 30 seconds to create a Twitter account. Then you go right to Elon Musk's account. Vote no. Increasing the Hold shit on. again. It, it, the quarter talks so fucking slow. It's it's actually somehow worse than H3H3. H3, how fucking slow he talks. It's awful. I have a Twitter called the, it's at the quartering, but. Don't follow me. I mean, do if you want to, but do follow me, <laughs> guys. If you want to follow a base Twitter account, okay. Oh, oh shit! Right here, right here. Follow this Twitter account. I love, I love plugging. Plugging is, in fact, my favorite. We are down six point three percent, or close to thirteen percent total. This is not an insurmountable victory because the left is not making videos at eleven o'clock at night on Sunday night. They aren't. The reason Elon Musk is, uh, as a CEO is losing this is because of Tesla investors who only care, not all Tesla investors, but we all know because we watch Twitter, there are hundreds of thousands of loser Tesla investors who only care about their money and who want Elon Musk to step down from running Twitter because all they care about is an extra $4 per share in Tesla. And they True, are dude. If you have all, <laughs> if you are a Tesla investor and you have all your money in Tesla right now and it has been tanking because Elon Musk has just like been a complete retard on Twitter, then you are a loser. 
because just because you want your life savings back, okay? Just because you want money. Like it's it's probably really hard for like someone who literally has a private jet to understand, but like some people really do enjoy like not st being on the street starving to fucking death because they're, they're the CEO of the company they invested in just decided like to spurg out on Twitter and be a complete retard. Like that's probably something that people want to. I want to have a <laughs> Julian said, I want to have a, a voice except for the people who disagree with me. Tr literally quartering garbage humans. And I hope they lose all their money. There are true. If you disagree with Elon Musk, I hope dude, I want everyone to speak, but if you disagree with Elon Musk, I want you to lose all of your fucking money. Jesus. He's so drunk. It's so Tesla drunk. investors who understand the long term, who understand that Tesla is going to continue to be the premium, the leader in EVs. Like, I know that. Okay? I'm a Tesla investor. I am not jocking Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon, please step down to CEO. I need another $12 per share of my investment. No. These people are no. They're one stock. It's probably easy when you have a jet. Fucker, like I don't, know, I don't know. Like, there's probably real people who have real money in this. Like, stop, I, stop, stop being up on your fucking soapbox. You read the <laughs> Sally. Something about the cornering just gets me wound up, guys. I'm sorry. That's who swung this vote. Just so you guys know, capitalists, Republicans, conservatives who have the smallest of wangs, the tiniest, the shrilliest of ball sacks. That who, that is who is voting yes. Okay. <laughs> True. That's me, guys. That's me, baby. That's me. That's me. A bunch of freaking losers <laughs> that are really making a few hundred or a few thousand bucks of Tesla stock. That is I am not invested in Tesla. Bucks, I don't... And they are so obsessed with getting $10 more a share. Losers. All right. This is what happens when companies are publicly traded. Losers. Okay. Make your own money. Put it in the bank. And if you're a Tesla stockholder and you're listening to this video and you're not a loser, you understand that Tesla stock is going to pay you tenfold if you just hold. Okay. But I see Twitter. I see all these loser soy boy cuckolds that own a single stock. They're like, oh, I own, I own two stocks. I'm the soy boy cuckold. Me. I'm basically a stock trader. I own Tesla and I own AMC or GameStop. Get out of here. One stock Sally's. <laughs> hey, this is fucking boring. We're moving on. That was enough. That's enough shitting on the quartering. Okay. Actually, I wonder if he's tweeted again. Uh, you know, I, I was trying to bait him earlier. Uh, I wonder if he's tweeted again. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. No. Unfortunate, guys.